What's up, everybody? We're live. Mm. Here you go. Enjoy this big return to Mexico because February 15th, my suspension is lifted. You want to tell you that? How about we make it a street fight? Yep, so I'm live for. Six, they actually showed the 619, are you kidding me? That awful 619 that Johnny Apex. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I could. Okay, that's good. Hopefully, there's a break up on me right now. Right now. All right, so we're live in Mexico again. There comes Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, let's get this started. Just go ahead and close this tab. Hello, Jalen. Welcome. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let me know if uh, I sound like a robot. Yeah, just let me know because the computer is kind of acting funny a little bit. Start the shit. So, but yeah. <laughs> oh, William Mack with the arm track. Nice. Only with the double. Double stack. Double close on. Oh, Willie Mack. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A oh, rich western. Here we go. Oh, there goes Willie! And he jumps. 
Yeah, buddy. All right, sub Shabaria, Jalen. Welcome to the asylum. <laughs> kind of. Right now it's OVE against Rich Swan and Willie Mack, and there goes Chris. Chris. Into a modified DDT on the floor. I've not seen that. Innovation. Modified DDT. Oh, God. Ooh, stiff kick. To the face. Damn. Cause of distraction. Triple cross face. What's the up? What's up, Crippler? Oh, will you make it the rope break? Uh, I don't know. You can bite. You can bite the uh, the rope for a rope break. Didn't know that. Ask, how do you neutralize Willie Mack? Get him on his back, right? You gotta get him off that vertical base. He's got so much power and explosion in those legs. Oh. Chris makes the tag. Right, uh, Chris makes the tag. I think I believe it was Dave Chris yeah. in the ring. Jay Chris. <laughs> Oh. Oh, really bad was going. Oh, kick. Willie Mack kicks out. Jake maintaining that waist lock with his legs, hammering down now. What? Okay. Oh, next we're swimming out the ring. The swiftness. Did you hear about Randy Orton possibly going to AEW or he's just using AEW as leverage to get a better contract from WWE? Well, I mean, I would be kind of surprised if, if he actually did go to AEW considering everything that WWE's done for him. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, or I would be surprised if he actually went there. Uh, but then again, I mean, he's pretty much near the ten tail end of his career anyway. So unless he went to go and be like an agent or something, or I mean, he could still go. So, um, as far as using it as leverage to get a better contract, I mean. It's, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, I can hear myself perfectly. 
Got five people watching. Damn. Six. Yeah, hopefully AEW gives WWE a run for their money. But we'll see. I don't see him leaving WWE. He's been there for over 15 years. And plus, Vince loves him. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Considering he, uh, they've done wonders for him. Double cross body. But yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. Some of those guys know exactly what's telling him. It's all with no one. So, you know, they play together for a while. You represent if you know what I mean. Rich Swan was able to get into this ring. Tried to turn these guys. It's really even Calvin. We're trying to get a sound. Matt made more work. Rich Swan. Her Karana. Oh. Stiff shots. By Rich Swan. Beautiful. Thank you, Calvin. Yeah, he did the Rolling Thunders frog splash a little bit. All right, now he's getting him up. Uh, Randy Orton already has a late back schedule. I wouldn't leave for AEW. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't buy into Randy Orton going to AEW. Sorry, what I've already said. Oh, Indie Taker. One, two. And Willie Mack breaks the cover. I see Sasha possibly leaving. Yeah, I wouldn't blame her. Because right, they're not really doing much with her. Or anybody for that matter. Now, if Brock Lesnar goes to AEW, that, that would be an even bigger shock. Double stunner by Willie Mack. Rich Swan with the RKO. <laughs> Willie Mack did like a stunner. And uh, Rich Swan did like a diamond cutter. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Kick, kick, kick. That's why I'm going up. 450. One, two, three. And Rich Swan and Willie Mack win this match. Yeah. Way to start off the match so uh the, the, the show so far. Yeah, buddy. Uh, King Anthony, JD gonna have a jerk off session if Brock goes to AEW. Uh, uh, Shaveria Lesnar probably can do AEW, WWE, and UFC at the same time. Yeah, he probably could. This would be this would be bitter as fuck if he actually uh, refuses to let Brock Lesnar go to AEW to do some matches over there. That would, be, that would definitely be bitter on Vince's part. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, AEW chief officer, my ass, dude. Why? Why? Why do he say? Why? He, why is he called the sh the, the chief officer? Like, does he does he have facts to prove it? Like, do you show any facts? Like, to prove that he's officially dead? Because you would think they would make some kind of announcement about it. 
But then again, J JD is a nobody, so as much as you know, people like to claim he is because he's a house of glory, but but still. Uh, Shavira, can you believe there's a YouTuber looking up to and molding himself after JD? His channel is called AC from New York. What the fuck? AC from Wow. You want to talk? Uh, yeah, you want to? You might want to turn your man card in. I'm just, uh, or your straight card in. Wow, AC from New York. Wow. Lesnar versus Omega, Lesnar versus Jericho, Lesnar versus Pentagon. Those are three interesting matches right there. Again, I don't even think Lesnar and Jericho faced each other. I don't think. Even in the rules of aggression era. Then again, they were both heels. And Brock turned face was on SmackDown, Jericho was on Raw. Yeah, did Lesnar ever fight Jericho? I don't remember now. Yeah, I know Brock Lesnar wrestled uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. I know that. Recognizing our innovative designs. Uh, Shaveria, he talks like JD and everything. Wow. Today's order. Uh, I wonder. <laughs> like, you know how people call people like me out because, oh, be original. You, you're talking shit about JD. What about the people who emulate him? What about the people who uh, act, act like him and try to talk like him? Want to talk about originality? Okay. They never faced before. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, they put on a they, they would put on a good match, Lesnar and Jericho. Fish of all species in both fresh and salt water. The Mighty Bite fishing system with over 100 pieces is yours for only $19.95. Fish, 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 with Mighty Man. And as a bonus, we'll include our new custom Big Fish Trophy. Best kit. fish Just get processing and handling. Order today and you'll get four free gifts. So call 1 800 291 6151. Again, that's 1 800 291 6151. Or visit buymightybike.com. Yeah, guys, let me know when uh, mightybike.com. If my audio turns robotic. Just let me know, because it's kind of acting slow a little bit. That was a crazy match. LAX and the Luchos. Lesnar and Jericho could be great in AEW because they won't be watered down like in WWE. That's true. They definitely have more freedom on the mic. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, Lesnar is Lesnar anyway, but but Jericho won't be like, oh, you just made the list. You just made the list. Like, just stop. <laughs> Right, the promos alone would give it the extra flavor. Exactly. For sure. Oh, yeah. Championships. 
Tengo una pregunta para ustedes. ¿Qué hubieran hecho si Ona no hubiera tomado la decisión correcta de que ustedes aceptaran la lucha del campeonato? Quisiera ver sus caras ante el mundo de la fuerza. Pero qué bueno que Ona tomó la decisión de que ustedes aceptaran. Ok, I'm looking to shut up for one second, guys. Tú dices que quieres que los campeonatos pertenezcan en la familia. Yeah, I don't see any AC from New York. Wait a minute. 206. Yeah, all I, all I see is acri acrimony. <laughs> That's all I see. Yeah, I'll probably look this up later then. I like to see the Briscoes and the Usos. Oh, that's a dream match right there. Yeah. I heard about, about the Usos lately, too. Possibly leaving. Sorry, his channel's called Squaring the Circle. Oh, okay. Oh wow. He's the underdog. Sammy Callahan and the Puma. Oh god, Carol Hogan and uh <laughs> Alley one on one. Robert's not gonna like that. <laughs> yeah, Robert's not gonna like this. For the world heavyweight championship next week. I'm thinking maybe mm -hmm. tonight, what, match of the century? My God, it's going to be great. Right now, though, here's our flashback. Oh, a flashback. Of DK. <laughs> Excuse them all. Excuse them all. <laughs> Diamante. Damn, where's she been? Man, Conan looking fat there. Well, crazy Steve's fucking neck. Yeah, by the way, any, uh, anybody who's wondering, that's, this is a flashback for anybody who's just tuning in. If you had any dream match with superstars from the past, who would it be? Mine's Styles versus Eddie Glow. That's one of them. Uh, Shavero, the president. King Anthony, Stone Cold versus CM Punk. Uh, yeah, Styles and Eddie Guerrero. Um, a dream match that I've had for, for the longest time back then was was uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, that's one of the dream matches, uh, Eddie and, and Shawn. That was back, that was, as far as today, 
Uh, and there's plenty of dream matches I can think of. CM Punk and Sean. I don't think they ever faced one on one back when Sean was still there, I don't think. I don't see a punk wrestle Triple H. I know that. We know what happened there. Attention, those who have taken the blood pressure medication, Val Sarton. Right now, it's Styles versus Rollins. Oh, okay. I believe they laid the groundwork for that at a 2K panel. If it never happened. It never happened. Well, that was before 2K, uh, Stone Cold and CM Punk, uh, WWE 13. That was before 2K. But they did lay the groundwork. Uh, I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah, that would be interesting to uh, see, uh, see CM Punk versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, the promos alone will give me hype. The promos alone. Which is a shame WWE never didn't go farther with, with Punk when he was still there. Yeah, he was 434 day champion, but the way they booked him halfway is just ridiculous. Will you qualify for a Medicare covered back brace or knee brace? There's only one way to find out. Uh, Shaveria, I've always wanted to see. Okay. I always wanted to see a Batista versus Brock Lesnar match. Oh, dude. I, I was hoping to see that at WrestleMania 30. I was hoping that it was going to be Batista because they were, they were, they kind of teased it a little bit. Uh, when Paul Heyman had that interview with Michael Cole. There are no upfront costs or how to uh, on, on the WWE YouTube page. To, uh, you know, asking Paul Heyman, what do you think about Batista coming back? And you know, he's you know, he's saying, you know, if Batista wants to fight, he can fight with the beast Brock Lesnar. And I thought that was gonna lead to a match. I possibly thought it was gonna lead to a championship match between Batista and, and Brock. You wear insulated boots and thick socks, but no matter how you try, you can't keep your feet. But yeah, I, I would have hoped it would have been Batista and Lesnar, even though they wrestled before in OEW. But as far as the big, as far as the big stage, yeah, that, that'd be that'd be cool to see Batista. And considering how much they've accomplished in the business, that would be that'd be pretty cool to see. It's advanced sock science. Uh, King Anthony, I'm sorry, but Rollins is bland to me. Watch, I bet you Roman's going to be in this corner or something. Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you just might be predicted to something there. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Roman appeared at WrestleMania. I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up. Yeah, just, just, just yeah, I, I see that happening. They were in a ring segment together with Randy Orton. Yeah, but it didn't lead to a match between all three of them. It was between Randy Orton, uh, Batista, and Daniel Bryan. But yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. So there's no special cleaning required. Yeah, Brock's either gonna face Batista to become that one contender, or he's gonna face Randy Orton, the champion. But he ended up fighting the Undertaker. Are also available in white. Here's how to order. Do you order 35 below the socks developed yeah, by Aerospace Technology? Visit 35below.com or call 1 800 1999. Last week, Impact Wrestling, the NFL alumni at Las Vegas chapter announced an exciting new partnership to advance the NFL ALVS's Carry for Kids and Care for Our Own initiatives in Las Vegas. Huh. They kicked off last week as Impact Wrestling started Miller Frost participated in charity events. Impact Wrestling is proud to be part of the Las Vegas community. Damn, where is it? Because when I had it. 
Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Allie versus Kara Hogan. I kind of have a bad feeling about this one. I don't know about you. I don't know about you guys, but I have a, I have a bad feeling about the outcome. Rosemary. Eddie Guerrero could have had so many dream matches if he was still alive. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Daniel Bryan, Nakamura, Almas. Well, one dream match that I'm glad I had was uh, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, and CM Punk. I'm glad to have seen that match between the three of them. Well, those are my three. Those are three of my favorites of all time: Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, and CM Punk. Three of my three of my all-time great favorites. I'm not a big fan of friends, but if you've got to have one in the knockout, Jordan Grace at the top of my list, she is a blockbuster. She's when a did that happen? It was some, it was some, a double, uh, it was some independent promotion. I forgot what it, I forgot which it was. It wasn't WWE though. It was somewhere else. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio. Yeah, you can look, you can look this match up. In case if you're uh, if you're wondering, okay, Carol, we're going for a quick cover on Allie. And the great thing about Kira, how long have I been saying that aggressive Kira is a future champion? She's taking Kira a new Hogan. level here tonight because this is personal. Oh, that was that was kind of bad selling there. <laughs> Kira Hogan on fire tonight. 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 Kira Hogan on just unify the women's championships. I have a bad feeling Asuka is going to be on the pre-show. Oh, dude. <laughs> that... Well, I don't know. Well, I don't think that's going to be on the pre-show. But that's just me. Uh, as far as unifying the championships, I, should, I mean, you might as well. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't even agree with the tag team with his title belts being there. Yeah, they need to have a unification match at WrestleMania. Supposedly, somebody was throwing out there on Facebook the, uh, of a possible Becky Lynch versus Stephanie McMahon match. I don't want to see that shit. Like, like really, Stephanie McMahon and another WrestleMania match? Get get her get her off. I mean, come, I mean, I, 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 I'm I'm tired of stuff. I'm, I'm just I mean, she, she she looks she looks fine as fuck, but I don't want to see her. But I, I think they're still gonna go with Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. And if they don't, they're fucking idiots. I give it a year for those women's tag team titles to beat the fuck. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna last. That's the thing, they, they make these decisions and then they don't know what to do head on, full speed ahead. Like they make all these plans, but they don't have like a backup plan or like a, you know, it's like a lead, it, they don't have a lead. Oh. Oh, Kira Hogan. 
Uh, that was kind of goofy selling there by having with the facial expression. Yeah, the McMahon's all I have to get a match at WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. Guarantee you all of them are gonna wrestle us. Well, I don't think Vince is gonna wrestle. But Stephanie and Shane, they're both they're Shane for sure is gonna wrestle. Oh, that was a bad backstab. Well, not a bad backstab, it, it, it was she did a move kind of late. Allie, what the hell are you doing? Um if you was to have a wrestling promotion, who will you build your main event, mid card women's at tag team or division around? Are you talking about in WWE or like if I were to have my okay, so if you if I were to have my own promotion and have anybody in the, in any promotion, is that what you're saying? Yeah, let me know. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. It's like you can smell it from here. Jeez. Yeah, we're a good 25, 30 yards away. She's just finding a flaw. It's not just in here. It is. Oh, and Jordan Grace just attacking Sue Young. Jordan Grace just took out the former Rockers champion, Sue Young. Any promotion. Okay, give me one second. Ali, she's going to go for the club. God, don't put that on your hand. I hope she's had her shots. She's looking at it. She's looking at it. She's She's distracted. She's distracted. <laughs> oh, Carol Hogan. Maybe she thinks if she does, Rosemary will appear. I don't know. Oh, damn. One, two, three. Carol Hogan wins. Holy shit. I don't know why she would just beat her clean, but then again, I, I can see why. Any promotion, okay. Shit, main event? In the main event, I would, I would build it around AJ Styles. Time for a question. Mid card. Yeah, sure. Tough time for you. Oof. Right cage spinning you for 10 seconds at homecoming. Any promotion. Okay, mid card. And me visiting you. Okay. Did I miss something? Because I didn't hear a hmm. question in any of that. What about the announcement? What announcement? The announcement? I'm talking about I might have to, I might have to get back to that. Today, your match, and I'm Women's. Tessa Blanchard. Between. Cage, Tag team, cross, the Briscoes. And yourself, as a champ, three bonus. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it is. Look, it's only for Twitter. There it is. Look. Mm, the mid card. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I got a four now, and I find out from. There's plenty of people. Brian Cage. <laughs> but then again, Brian Cage will be in the main event. Will be a main event guy for me. Speaking of Brian Cage. Sucks when you get screwed. See you next week. Things are heating up. Weed killer. And later developed non Hodgkin's lymphoma. According to the World Health Organization's research on cancer, the active ingredient in the leaf of a rat. Where's my crew at? Can cause cancers mm. such as non Hodgkin's lymphoma. If you or a loved one were exposed to Roundup in a commercial setting such as farming, landscaping, or golf course maintenance, and then developed non Hodgkin's lymphoma, you could be eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. If you or a loved one were exposed to the weed killer Roundup and were then diagnosed with non Hodgkin lymphoma, <laughs> call the law offices of Davis and Pratt. Where's my notebook? To see if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first time to work here too while I'm watching it. Call now. Operators are standing by. Oh, I ain't burping in the live stream because I can't, motherfuckers. My stream, my rules, which is no rules. There you go. 
there are no upfront costs or out-of-pocket expenses. Imagine being debt-free in 24 to 48 months. Call now to see if you call them. You can talk to a counselor right now. Call 800-318-5052. Attention, those who have taken the blood pressure medication Valsartan. The FDA has recalled Valsartan from numerous companies after MDMA, a possible cancer-causing chemical, was found in the medication. Okay, um, have, you, have you heard about Marvel's Captain Marvel movie supposed to be over... Over feminized. Yeah, hey, I've seen the Captain Marvel trailer. I'm actually looking forward to it. Yeah. Ho hopefully, it doesn't turn into another, you know, to like a feminized, you know, hate men type of thing. I hope it doesn't turn into that, but you know, as far as the movie itself and the chick playing it. Should I ain't got complaints. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't turn it to another uh I wouldn't say Ghostbusters, but but basically about you know women overpowered even though it, it is uh it is a chick, but if you answer eligible for a pain relieving back brace or knee brace covered by Medicare at little to absolutely no cost to you, da, 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 da. if you qualify for a Medicare covered back brace or knee brace, there's only one way Deal to the option. Call the back and knee brace center at 800 685 4231. Do you have a drawer full of knives but nothing sharp? Stop rocking your food and stop cutting it. What a mess. And don't use fixed edge sharpeners that grind down All right, and destroy cool. your knives. Right. Introducing the Bavarian Edge, the innovative knife sharpener with independent spring action arms that will make your old blades razor sharp in seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the sharpest knives possible. You need the Bavarian Edge. Yeah, I haven't seen the Charles. I haven't seen the Charles play trailer. Um, but uh, some of my asylum members uh, have seen the trailer, and they've and they say that it looks pretty interesting. I haven't seen it myself. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and check. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, I want to see the. I want to see old school Chucky, man. Well, an old school uh, type of Chucky. But after just a few passes through the Bavarian Edge, it's so sharp it cuts right through this frozen state. Who was here? The Serrano. It just won't work. No, it's not. Serrano is plain blaze. It cuts this tomato with ease. And I'm about to do an Apple review with two hands. It is a Bavarian Edge knife sharpener for just nineteen ninety nine. Like a monkey. Double the offer. Just pay a separate oh, fee. And your very edge comes with our lifetime money back guarantee. What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, nice, uh, nice profile. Thanks, thanks. You are the very edge and free shipping. It's like a good looking apple, too. Click or call right now. Yeah, because you know that that review uh, that Flame Blade State was so was so um, oh my god so watchable that I had to have to react react it. I don't know who's gonna do the Chucky voice. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yeah. So how far are you? Uh. What the fuck? Oh, I hear Hold on a second. Okay. On Imp Impact Wrestling United with Stan, Thursday, April 4th. The Lucha Brothers versus Sabu and Rob Van Dam. What the fuck? Oh, really? Wow. Impact Wrestling United with Stan. That's what it's called. Oh, all right. Uh, and when is it again? You can see his outline. Okay. No, you can still see his outline. Hey, can you repeat that? My bad. Oh yeah. Um, when when is when is it again? Oh, April uh, April fourth. Okay. 
Okay. So, All right. Okay, so I'm at the part of the sink. Well, going to be the sink, brothers. I, well, did I just say the same brothers? I mean the Disney Squad. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could, hear, I could swear. Yeah, I said, wait, wait, wait. The same brothers from WWE. <laughs> well, let's just say they got, they got for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, so you up to that? Okay. All right. Now so I'm about to come back. I'm about to watch a commercial from Twitch TV. Okay. All right. All right uh, King Anthony has a question for you, uh, Robert. King Anthony oh, okay. has a, yeah, King Anthony has a question. I have I have to ask Robert why he hated Dolph or he hates uh Dolph and Seth so much. LOL. Okay. Dolph Ziggler. He um mocked much and Ray Savage and Ultimate Warrior's entrance and basically say that he's better than them. And on top of that, Dolph Ziggler, he kept saying that he wants to leave the company so bad, but then he, st he still sticks around because he's, he's a company bitch boy. So many times he does that, I'm like, I'm saying myself, fuck this guy. I'm not going to revenge anywhere, anywhere he said um, uh, that comes out of his mouth anymore. And and basically, namely, just because of him mocking Ultimate Warrior and Mark Turner and Savage. Yo, that bullshit, the, the way he was doing it from, uh, in 2017. Hmm. As far as Seth Rollins, I sound like a broken record where I keep saying this, but fuck it. Seth Rollins again. He's um, you know, in his feud with the Ambrose thing, he 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 didn't care about the Ambrose that much. He didn't even try to find him that much. He um, he didn't want he didn't bother trying to go after him at one point. All he did was you know, keep talking and talking and talking. And then he tried to unpair um, to the fans, like, 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 no, sorry about that. Uh, and then try to unpair to the fans, like John Cena. And I, he's um, doing, and then, and then the whole thing with Brock Lesnar about, oh, he's not here every week, like, like Rome Reigns um, has been doing. Oh, God. And on top of that, well, during his crew between Ambrose, uh, you know, we were supposed to have his mask uh, Nakamura at Survivor Series. He didn't care about Nakamura. From there, I was like, fuck you. Nakamura should win. And, and look what happened. He lost. And finally, it came, uh, again, we part of, he's supposed to be in the field with, uh, with uh, you know, talk about the, you know, this whole field with, on these have with um, Ambrose, you know, his field. And he's, he's worried about fucking raw ratings and, and blaming Baron Corbin for, for why Raw's sucking. And then, on top of the all, TLC, where he was trying to, um, to out wrestle. Yo, it just, you know, out to the outperform H Styles match against Dan Bryan. With the, uh, yo, while he's supposed to be uh, in, in the seat of view with the arrows, it's not supposed to be about spot fest, it's not supposed to be about uh, a wrestling match, it's supposed to be a fucking fight. You're supposed to sell your 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 feud with Ambrose as a fight because he betrayed you, he betrayed Roman, he betrayed the sh you know the Shield and the fans. They, that's the story they they went with. But instead, Rollins did not want want to do that. And he's supposed to be the um the top guy who's supposed who's supposed to be uh you know in charge of you know um you know most mostly um half part of his booking. And he couldn't and he did he, he refused and he didn't do it. I, so that so that it was it was basically around that around, around December is where I was officially done with Seth Rollins. Okay. And then what came to Red Rumble? Yo, know, with Ambrose coming in, uh, Bobby Dash coming in, Dragonfly coming in. Yo, know, the guy that he, uh, he had uh, issues with in, you know, in the past. Now all of a sudden he cares about you know going after them. Yeah. Damn, yeah, that's, that's I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's why I hate Dolph. Well, I hate Dolph Ziggler for a long time now because of that. I promise, to, I promise to, don't want me to forgive him for that, but uh, but it was wrong for him to do that anyway. So you know, to mock the warrior and, and savage, and and then and now you know about Seth Rollins. Now you know, now you know why. All right, nice rant there. 
I really don't blame Rollins for the match with Ambrose. I blame the producers, and I don't blame Rollins for his promos. I blame the creative team. That's how uh, Shaveria feels about that. You can feel it any, any way you want about Seth Rollins. To me, I'm just done with Seth Rollins now. He, you know, he's supposed to be. He, he's supposed to be. He's, been, he's the new top guy now, eh? And he should have the same to uh, to talk about uh, what, what he, is, he doesn't want to do. But he, he doesn't. I mean, if, you know, if John Cena can get away with it, why can't he? Bitch. <laughs> King Anthony, thanks, Robert. <laughs> You're welcome. By the way, I'm up, I'm up to uh, Rosie Raju versus uh, Trey. Hmm. Richie? Yeah, um, they're um, right now, what I'm seeing Trey uh, gain some offense onto Rohit Raju. I just think he's doing his job. Huh. Well. And EC and EC three is doing his job by not saying anything. But I do think people overrate Rollins. Sugar says. He had already the whole burn it down thing, the whole Monday Night Rollins. Where I feel at the time, when, at the and, and, and at, at, the, at the time when Roman Reigns was you know was um being the um knighted you know is the one being the um the the number one top guy. And him being a French champion. Uh, you know, defend the title every week, you know, open challenge and whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. And, and, and on top of the shield, yeah, he is overrated. The stomp by Trey. They're not doing two things at once. I'm doing I'm doing schoolwork and I'm watching the pet wrestling. <laughs> That's cool. Of course, Rollins is going to get pushed. He's a Triple H guy. You know who else are Triple H? You know who else is Triple H's guys? Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, mm-hmm. Sami Zayn, mm-hmm. Cesaro, mm-hmm. Shinsuke Nakamura, mm-hmm. Kenta, who's mm-hmm. not who's not who's not there who's, who's not there anymore. Yep. Neville, who's not there mm-hmm. anymore, who's now called Pac. Well, back you know, back to being called Pac. Doing some cool shit, also. The, re- the revival, Chad Gable, at one point Jason Jordan before um they they before he um he had, he had, to, he had to retire from wrestling or should I say forced to retire. Facts. And look at Bobby Roode. He could be a main event player in the main roster. And look what they have him doing. Being an attack team with Chad Gable, which is not a bad thing. But he could he should be he should be doing way better, especially Chad Gable. Dude, how you have not how you not have Bobby Roode as a main event player? How, how, like, how does that happen? Uh, Randy Orton. Oh god. Last year <laughs> he was bored. And when he, whenever right near one's board, someone has to get buried. Dude, at best, Bobby Roode should be the should be the heel of the com- the. He should be the heel champion of the company. 
And yes, and the heel. I don't get how you don't have Bobby Roode, Samoa Joe. Yeah, Samoa Joe too. Samoa Joe is also a tremendous guy. And look, look at him, look at him ever since he came to the roster. No championships. All these champions that they had in TNA. And they've reduced the shit in WWE. They're like, don't, don't people see the pattern here? Do people, do, do people see the pattern? You see, Johnny, that's how you do a 619. Mm -hmm. Vince thinks Rude is too old. AJ is the same age as. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> Are you kidding? They're, they're almost they're, they're almost the exact same age. And they yeah, can still we'll, go. Yeah, we'll see about that when John Cena comes back. <laughs> oh, John Cena's always been trash. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't even compare. But like, but, and now, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, watch, like, if he were to come back and become world champion, what would be the excuse then? Oh, God. Like, what would be the excuse then? And Brock Lesnar's, he's up there at age two, even though he's he's a bad motherfucker. But still, yeah, he's old. He's, he, yeah, he gets to get done. Supplements, you know, supplements or not. I was like, what type of a, does does Vince think when he went before he says things? I, <laughs> no. And I thought that he's got all dementia. What a terrible excuse. But well, besides that, this is a good match. Yeah, I'm on commercial now. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so that means I'm ahead of you. This TV wasn't late. Uh, I think because of the, of the timeline, maybe. I don't know. It's probably why you're uh, a, uh, a little ahead of me. Mm hmm. <laughs> Betty Bear. Okay. For anybody who wanted to, you know, who was wondering, Triple A. Anyway, um, Nakamura should have became WWE champion. This is King Anthony. Nakamura should have been WWE champion at SummerSlam two years ago. Yep, I agree. Put the mask in the chamber, close the lid, and it runs automatically. So clean has been a lifesaver. So clean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks. Hey, they, he could have been champion this year, but you know. Uh -huh. But it's feed with AJ, but. To take advantage of this limited time offer. I would recommend the soap machine to anyone else. It is. It's like if you don't have any faith in your own performers, why sign them? Why to bring them in? Like, like for example, Mike Kanellis on 205 Live. He's been losing matches on 205 Live. But before before that, he, he and his, and his wife asked for their release, and WWE decided not to the, 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 the release. So, and, what, and, 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 after, and, after, and you know, after all that, I'm seeing them on wrestling on TV on 205 Live. If it's on the network, but still. And, they, and, and and they're having him lose. And like, what the what the fuck the point of having him there if, if you're not good uh, having more matches? Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the last time I, I, I if I can remember him winning a match was like, against Sami Zayn, and that was about two years ago. Wow. Wow. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, under that, maybe he, maybe he, he's won some house shows. Maybe I don't know. I I, I really don't know that. Um, how many house shows he's Russell? But that, that's but I, um, what I can remember. The only time he's won on TV was get was against Sami Zayn. And again, two years ago. What what has he done then? It, this, I I think McKenna is a good wrestler. And then I, and then I, then I, um, you know, showcase him like, uh, how, how good he can be. Nope. Can't have that. Let's fucking pick uh, up, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy coming from Ring of Honor and then coming from TNA. You know, 
I've been a supporter of, of Mike, you know, Mike Bennett before he came. He they decided to call him Mike Nellis. I've been a big supporter of, of Mike Bennett uh, from Ring of Honor and from TNA. And then see him on go to WWE. I'm like, okay, maybe maybe um they'll, they'll do something big for him. No, they haven't. They haven't done shit with him. He's a, they, they, they got messed up. That's a, a glorified jobber. One six one five one, or visit buymightybike.com. That's buymightybike.com. Oh yeah. And on top of that, Maria Canales is um is on Twelve Live, and she's not even on Raw to um to be a women's wrestler. So what the what why, why is she there too? Well, good news. Uh. Scarlett Bordeaux will make her Impact Wrestling in-ring debut in Las Vegas. Oh, really? Cool. Well, I'm not up that far yet. I'm still on the commercial, which is going to end in one minute and 50 seconds. Damn. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, King Anthony, Jinder, this is a good point. Jinder Mahal became WWE champion before Samoa Joe, Bobby Roode, Drew, Drew McIntyre, and others. Let that sink in. Well, I'm sick in. All right. Mm-hmm. And we all know why he got that. He got that towel shot too. With all of them too. Uh, with all of them there. Well, maybe not, not Drew McIntyre, but but with Samoa Joe and Bobby Roode there, he, and AJ there at the time. Well, let's be. Let's also be fair here. Oh, Drew McIntyre was not on the main roster yet. Uh, when when Mahal was champion, so yeah, that's why I, I kind of cut him out. Yeah, but the but the but the other guys, yeah, that, that that's no excuse. Mm-hmm. And look up with Mahal being champion. He didn't draw any money. He didn't draw any merch. He didn't draw any view. Uh, anyone coming into uh into uh in in, in, the, in the venues. He didn't draw any viewerships. And on top of that, he was the worst WWE champion ever. And if you if you say John Cena is the um the best WWE champion, uh, over Jinder Mahal, I had to I had to agree with you because at least with John Cena, uh, which I I had to hate him say, he he at least he was a better champion than Mahal is. Jinder Mahal is fucking garbage, and I can't believe that this man went with Jinder Mahal. And 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 on, and on top of that, having him serious match against Randy Orton, and then having him beat Nakamura. For for what? For my for my, for my, you know to please the um, fans of in India. That is so stupid. And then he goes to India to face Triple H and he loses. Like what the fuck? Exactly. Oh my god, man! What right? What are these people? What are these people smoking? Nah, that's what I want to know. All right, now I'm now I'm back. Uh, uh, what, yeah, watching the show. So that's it. Scarpa just shows up and just say that. I thought she was gonna do a lot more um training. Oh, whatever. So we got Sammy Callahan from Team Impact. I don't know what the market is dropping down on that, but I think the best you are in time. Yep, Sim Gallahan and King. Puma King. Or, or King Pum. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, Puma King, I meant to say. Puma King in control of Sim Gallahan. They could have put. They could have built the tag team division around the revival. Yep. Could have. 
Uh, WWE could have had a big superstar in Bray Wyatt's, but they buried him. Mm-hmm. Some Callahan, DDT, from the outside. <laughs> oh, from my end, my match, the match hasn't started yet. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. Now it's starting. Saying can't have a type from behind. And, and, and Puma can't even take off his, um, his gear yet. Yo, is that his extra gear? So there was no Rosemary tonight. It was... <sighs> So you want me to tell you what happened between Ali and uh, Kira Hogan? I see, I seen it. Okay. I, I, I saw how Ali acted when she was on track at the glove, and all of a sudden she's like, "We're too young." Like, that, I was like, this is stupid. Like, t- you, you know, she's looking this way, that way. Like, we're we're too young. Like, look around. <laughs> yeah, you could just like, get like, out. She, 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 she was lost or something. Like like she's yeah. trapped some, like she's trapped some type of force field. Like, oh no, where is he? Where is she? Like, get the fuck out of that bullshit. Yeah, like like she disappeared or something. Like she was she was just outside the ring. And and that's why Kyle Hogan won because Dark Alley got this you know got distracted because she just where she where she was. But I'm still got a, a Kyle Hogan one though. But is it gonna be anything at the end? No. Which is which is, which is bullshit. Um, you know, as a cure as a cure a cure Hogan fan. So, David, anything else showed up? On the hangout? Yeah. No, it's just, just you as usual. <laughs> okay. Uh, King, uh, oh wait, um, Shaveria, I also think Luke Harper is underutilized. Oh, people have been saying that for uh, for quite a while with Luke Harper. They're wishing him, I, they're wishing him too. I think Harper could thrive in the Indies. Oh, he's he's done it. He's done it already. Yo, oh. yo, as as as, as Broly Lee, yes, he has. Yeah. Oh man, that was disgusting. What's on that time of did? Yeah, you you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about. That was uh, what the fuck. Okay, yeah, I think I know what you mean. Once I see, I'll I'll, I'll give you a stuff. Well, even though you're racing the butt, okay. <laughs> Uh, King Anthony, wait, Sami Zayn on Impact Wrestling, lol, get the reference. Ah, uh, yeah, I got it, I got you. Do you get it, Robert? Oh, what was the question again? King Anthony put, wait, Sami Zayn on Impact Wrestling? Oh, is he making fun of JD for that? <laughs> yeah. Because Sam, because Sam, can't, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, cause I, I'm I'm still wondering how do you mistaken Callahan for Z- of all people, Sami Zayn? You mistaken him for Sami Zayn? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Like when I look at like I don't, I don't even think about Sammy Cal- uh, Sammy Zayn when I see Callahan. No, nope. <laughs> Sammy Zayn's the last person yeah. on my mind. Those two guys are on a different planet. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind Sammy Zayn, but but they but they don't compare. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God! What's so the part that he did was the spinning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Oh, we're right here. 
Shararia JD be talking tough shit on Twitter, but a bitch in real life. Well, I, YouTube as well. Well, I wouldn't know that since I'm blocked. <laughs> I'll believe me. The things I hear about JD saying on Twitter, I, I believe. I believe you have people. Well, dude, how are you gonna go on Twitter and call and and rename yourself to AEW Chief Officer? Are you even the officer? Are, are, are you are you even chief? I know one thing. He ain't no uh, executive producer so, uh, or or vice president. Right now. By the way, good news: Kenny Omega. Is going to AEW. Yep. 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 Oh, oh, son of a bitch. Wow. The, the spin the hand and then the, the, the spit hanging. Oh, God. You see, you see that's what I was talking about, yeah? Okay, uh, uh, that, that part you was talking about. Okay. I thought, I thought it was the other part. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I, I see that a lot, though, from Sammy Callahan. That, that, that is disgusting. There's only one way to find out. Call the back and knee brace center at 800 685. Well, yeah, Kenny Omega, he had me worried there. Um, you know, he had, I think he has all, all worry because some of us, you know, thinking to ourselves, you know, is he going to sign with WWE? To me, I, I he, he had me convinced that he was going to go sign with WWE, but I was just hoping that he wouldn't. And thank God he didn't. Mm -hmm. He's going. He's, he's going to continue. Uh, you know, to be to be with, uh, with his close friends. Uh, the, the promotion that they believe that is is going to go somewhere. Attention, those who have taken the blood pressure medication Valsartan. The FDA has recalled Valsartan from numerous companies after MDMA, a possible cancer-causing chemical, was found in the medication. If you or a loved one took Valsartan and suffered from bladder cancer, pancreatic. You're trying to get the elite attention. He also made a knockoff elite shirt called JD's Elite. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What's it pronounced? So JD made hit made a knockoff elite shirt called JD's Elite. Really? I don't know what to say. Call 800-381-3280. That's 800-381-3280. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm also worse right there. The cure is a cold weather adventure faster than cold, sweaty feet. You wear insulated boots and thick socks, but no matter how you try, you can't keep your feet warm and dry. Stop cold, sweaty feet with 35 Below, the amazing socks developed from aerospace fabric technology to keep feet warm and dry. In the coldest and most extreme conditions, 35 Below socks are made with super soft aluminized threads woven into a breathable nylon fabric that reflects back your body heat, minimizing perspiration and moisture so your feet stay cozy, warm, dry, and incredibly comfortable. It's advanced sock science for your feet. After just 15 minutes of working in insulated boots, the heavy sock is already moist, but the 35 Below sock stays dry. Ordinary cold weather socks are bulky and itchy, but 35 Below socks are thin, sheer, and lightweight to wear by themselves or under your regular socks for a comfortable fit indoors or out. In winter boots, hiking boots, dress boots and shoes, running shoes, any shoes, 35 Below socks are ideal Okay, uh, he also made a, okay, look, I read that. He's not original yeah I, of course yeah, I, of course he's not no I, I i i've gotten a couple of comments about this from you know his his fans or whatnot if you can call fans um them saying huh, how original content making videos about jd uh -huh. okay those are not the only videos i do Secondly, I'm not calling him how to get views. At least that's not my main focus. I'm talking about him because he's a dickhead. You know? Which, by the way, um, I'm planning on doing a video. Yeah, just to make an announcement for all the eight people watching my live stream right now. Um, 
So I might do it tomorrow or at some point in the week. I'm going to be doing a video on top five typical troll slash hater slash, um, you know, basically people talking shit. No, top five repetitive comments. That's going to be a, a, you know, one of my, you know, special videos I'm going to do for a while. But, you know, just to let you guys know about it. Oh shit, lol. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh yeah, it's gonna be something. Top five repetitive comments. Yeah, because some of this shit it just makes no sense, man. Semi Callahan mocking the fans. Yeah, there's a guy wearing a bullshit. Yeah, they, uh, they, yeah. yeah, yeah, they're giving a lot. They're giving a much a lot of time. Uh, like la last week, you know, with Fala Ba and and Psycho Clown. Oh yeah, they 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 didn't they, they didn't start the show at eight fifty eight. Guess what time they they showed the show? Um. Ten oh five, maybe. No, 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 not that. Far. It went from <laughs> it, it went from eight fifty eight to eight fifty nine. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's, 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 uh, that's, I'm, that's I'm, I'm in early. Okay, now it's back. Oh, With the God. elbow. Shaveria, what's JD going to say if someone walks up to him and slap the fuck out of him, bring up views and subs? Yeah, is that good? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh, JD's gonna beat you in the fight. Why? Because he's got more subs. Uh, okay. That's kind of a reference Remington has brought up a couple of times, saying, "Oh, oh, he'll beat you in a fight because he has more subscribers than you." You know? <laughs> is it? It's, it, it is really ridiculous. <laughs> And his female Mustang. Well, one thing I know for sure, there won't, there's not any females in the Mustang. But uh, big time. You know what's funny? Um, some of you may not know this. I don't know if anybody's seen in the comments, but somebody put down on my recent JD video. Oh, you would you? Oh, why would you get his address and say it to his face? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm 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 gonna buy a ticket right now. To go to New York and confront him. Yeah. Guys, wait, come here. Come here. Uh, it's called having. It's it's called being busy. It's called being. It's called having a life. Oh, what the fuck are you guys doing? And trust me, if any of us were to be in New York, I think Robert has the closest chance out of all of us. Um. Mm -hmm. To say it to his face, guarantee Robert will say it to his face. Because what's what's 
What's Shady going to do? He's got security behind him. Like, what? Is the security going to jump on Robert? If he did that, if, if, just imagine, though, if, if Robert were to confront JD in real life and, and the security, you know, basically go there and, and, and basically, you know, jump him or whatever. House of Hardcore is um, in, in the New York area. I know. I, I, Pretty much. Okay. Sammy. One, two. Oh, poor versus one, two. One, two. Yeah. Roll up at the roll up at the roll up. Well, it's not really a roll up, it's. Uh, <laughs> Some down. Oh, what's up? Yeah, he beats him with the. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's stuff on his face. What the hell? Oh, my God. What the f? Oh. Yeah. Kind of like line. Uh, Shaveria, there are these views and subs are making these YouTubers feel invincible and untouchable. Exactly, right? It doesn't mean shit when you're making a video about them. You know, making valid points about them. Stop. Well, you don't have any views, you don't have any subs. Yeah, that, that just completely destroys my credibility right there. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, idiots. Tessa Blanchard, uh, She retains the championship. Clean. No excuses. But of course, you know, there was an excuse. Somehow, there was an excuse. Tessa. Oh, because I instantly killed somebody, but it's not this though. All I have is. All I have is. There's a whole thing about the race. What's going to happen? I'm coming. Exactly. It was clean. But of course, you know. So much for that. <laughs> if you wanted attention, you could have called out someone like the Pauls, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, or KSI. That's true. They have they they have million more view, uh, subscribers than G will ever have. I have a hundred hundred dozen subscribers, bro. Yeah, and they have millions of subscribers. So what's your point? <laughs> Those guys are big time. You're not. You know, I'm not, not really a big fan of, of especially low, uh, especially Jake. But they're, but they're more popular than JD will ever be. Uh, by the way, Robert, you're muted. Just to let you know. Yeah, I know. And you want to say it's on here. You don't say. What the fuck is that? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Lucha Libre. Dude, man, LAX and Lucha Brothers keep, they, they, they keep killing it. 
mm -hmm. see the and right, now I'm watching the pack view package of Taya Bagri and Tessa Blanchard. Oh, I ju it just ended on my on my end. <laughs> it just ended. Damn. Yeah, uh, yeah Tears TV needs to fix that that timing. Uh, Shaveria, he has 105,000 subscribers, but only gets maybe 40,000 views. Yeah, you know, I've heard JD. People watch my videos. Uh, not every video. It's a hundred thousand views. But okay. Try SoClean risk free for thirty days. Even shipping is free. Call one eight hundred five two eight seven eight five seven. Get connected. Attention, those who have taken the blood pressure medication Valsartan. The FDA has recalled Valsartan from numerous companies after MDMA, a possible cancer-causing chemical, was found in the medication. If you or a loved one took Valsartan and suffered from blood For recall. Cancer, pancreatic cancer, kidney cancer, colorectal cancer, or liver cancer, or liver injury with hospitalization, My email. you may be eligible for financial compensation. Legal help is available. Now is the time to call the for a free consultation and help getting the justice you deserve. If you or a loved one has taken the you know what? Why don't you want this real package? This this real package ain't doing nothing for me. That Tessa Fletcher lost. You or a loved one has suffered from cancer. Especially with the booking was bullshit. Right now, we can help you get the financial compensation. Yeah, what I don't understand is Tessa Blanchard winning against Tyra at Bound for Glory, and then they they made some type of excuse for it. It's like uh, she beat her clean. Who do you think had the perfect wrestling career? I think I think Edge had the perfect wrestling career. What do you What do you mean by perfect career? Perfect career. Try SoClean risk free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1 800 528 7857 or go to SoClean.com. Eddie. Oh, God. Let me talk to you. Why well, your mind just one week? You see the success that we had? Did you see what you didn't need? Did you see how I got that job done? Single handedly. Without this, without needing hardcore, without needing a stick, I got to done yes. one thing. He has a name. He has a name. But, but you beat him with the stick. What? what? <laughs> but did you, see what but you, you won the match last week with the stick. Why? Because it works every time. Every single time. So here's what I need to do next week. Triple A is impact. Those teams come together. You're on the team. I'm on the team. Brother. How about this? How about this? You do your thing. Me and Kenny will do our thing. Just let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Okay, you do your thing. But what I want your thing to be is to leave this at home, leave these jeans at home, leave those shoes at home, huh. lace up those old boots, bring back your old glory, bring back the tights, bring back Eddie Edwards that I used to know, bring back the Eddie Edwards who was a world champion, a tag team champion, an X division champion, bring back that guy, and we can take home that World Cup title. Kenny? Sorry. My question is, why does Eli Drake give a fuck? That's why I want to know. As a, as a heel, why does he even care? I'll talk about what that was. Uh, I'll watch the promo from my end. I heard, I heard a little bit of it, but um, I'll try to get my thoughts on it. You know, uh, uh, tattoo. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, climbed up the ranks from tag team to mid-card to main eventer. 
edge from tag team to mid card to main eventer. Uh, the perfect career out of anybody in the business as far as climbing up the ranks. You can make a good you can make a good case that he that he could have been. But I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to think. What? Well, it's not the worst Moose is born. <laughs> I'll say that right now. Let me just get this straight. Four of us. We got Johnny Boy, the machine, Brian Cage. Johnny Boy. Moose and myself. Outsiders. Our motto, in a four way. Everything on the line, quite frankly, that's in our favor. I think this is hilarious. <laughs> so unfair. We're a team. We're a freaking team. Don't forget, a block for Tom Brady's blind side. And that's exactly what we're going to do for each other. You have my blind side. I have your blind side. But it's for the it's championship. Matter, I don't know. If you win, we'll get the title in my trophy case. If I win, okay, there you we'll go. get the title in my trophy case. We can be global world champions. And then we don't have to chase after girls like Melissa. They chase after us. <laughs> like, like Bill Belichick says. I will say this. The, the interviewer, Melissa, can get it. That's good. That's a really go. good analogy. I prefer the one about the frog and the scorpion. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Interesting comments from Moose and Killer Frogs. I guess we'll see how far his teamwork will okay, go. Okay. Every man for themselves in a four-way match for the Impact Wrestling World. Uh, Shaw. Did y'all see the AEW conference? I'm good off. I'm good off AEW. I got a bad feeling them and WWE gonna put a war, gonna be in a war over who can push the social justice warrior PC bullshit for this. Oh my god, dude! I hope that, that, that I hope that's not the case. Well, so in the AEW press conference, they were they were they said they were gonna do it. They're gonna push some basically. Some SJW type shit. Well, I don't know if Robert's seen the conference, but I, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna see the conference uh, whenever I can to get my opinion on it. But uh, based on what, like, what your opinion is about the conference? Oh boy. <sighs> There are no upfront costs or out of pocket We'll see, man. We'll see. Imagine being debt free in 24 to 40. Hopefully that's not the case. I'll rest and show, but you can talk to a counselor right now. Call 800 318 Damn. They're gonna be in a war over who could push the social justice word PC bullshit the farthest. What a mess. And don't use fix that sharpeners. To grind down and destroy your medicine of Bavarian ads. The innovative knife sharpener. Uh, Robert, did you, have you seen the AEW press conference? With your old blades, razor sharp in seconds. If you want the sharpest. Nah, I just saw a couple of photos of it on Instagram. Because it has two. Oh, okay. Action sharpeners made of ultra. So, what are your right, thoughts so about what Shaw said? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, uh, so I, I gotta, I gotta you know, take a look at it to see uh, you know, before I give my full analysis of it. Uh, just, you know, just, just to hear on, on their uh, part uh, what they mean by uh, about, about what they, who they're trying to please. Uh, when, they, you know, when, when, they, when this, when this does get launched. And if butter splatter even after through the Bavarian edge, it's so sharp. Yeah, hopefully that's not the case, but like a hot knife through butter. Oh, that's why. Uh Shaw Power, they signed a few transgenders. What the fuck? Bavarian edge a few times, and now it's sharp as a razor. It cuts this tomato with ease. Other knife sharper. So there's two signed transgender trainees uh in AEW. Now you can double the offer. Just pay a 
separate fee. And Bavarian Edge comes with a lifetime yeah. money back guarantee. If it ever wears a break, uh, Shaveria, I'm not going to pretend I'm the biggest indie fan, but I hope AEW succeeds. They all need to compete directly, compete with WWE. If it happens, it happens organically. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with this notion. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna surpass WWE. It's gonna beat WWE in the ratings. It's gonna become, it's gonna become the biggest ever. You know, that's not our standpoint on that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of people throwing this notion out there that people, you know, with the thoughts of AEW. You know, wanting it to succeed, you know, have all these people. Oh yeah, they, 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 they think it's gonna surpass WWE. Blah, 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 blah. Because, in all honesty, they don't want competition. They, they want to be fucked. They, they, they want to be. They want to suffer. They want to be displeased because that's their life. That's what it really boils down to. Fucking comp bitch. What the hell is this? Daniel, do you mind? Sorry. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Chops. They barely have a roster. No, so it's still early. Yeah, they're still early. I'm not going to um, ask about that shirt that Moose is wearing right now. Damn, you're back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so what are your thoughts on Moose's attire? He's, he told Mr. Santos to call him. Yeah, now, now with that shirt, you, you're not, she's not going to call you. Bob. Do you agree? Do you agree the interviewer can get it though? Uh, oh, oh, you say again? Yeah, do but uh, do do you uh agree that uh the interviewer can get it? Sorry, I I, I think it was cutting out a little bit. Oh no. Am I still cut out? It's not okay now. Okay. Um, but do you agree that the interview where uh, Melissa can get it? Oh, of course she can. <laughs> I see her. I your underground, yo, yo, for all, all these years. Mm -mm, this is Santos. Earth time they are. I see her uh, with different type of dress. She Words like those, man. Uh, why? Why is it that no one's no one's uh trying to get with you? <laughs> but Brian Cage did, you know. And, and also third line, Phoenix. Oh, oh yeah. And also that. Also that third line, Mario DeMarco Martinez trying to tries to uh, to kidnap her at one point. Try to do something with her at one point. He stalked her. But it was it was it was, it was weird. Uh, but but interesting. Oh yeah, Mr. Toes, yeah, she can. Oh, stare down. Phoenix and Santana. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not outside. Yeah, I'm I'm in no commercial. Oh, okay. But 
But I, I can just I can just make it match. But Eddie Edwards and uh, Eli Drake. I guess Eli Drake is trying to uh, have Eddie Edwards to have to be in the old Eddie Edwards for this whole uh, Triple A versus uh, Impact for the World Cup. I guess you know if Impact win, you know, if Team Impact wins, they they'll they'll get something uh, uh, as an award for you know bringing on um, the World Cup uh, to the to their company. Maybe uh, I guess Eli Drake and Eddie Edwards, you know, if they, if they succeed, Eddie Edwards and uh, Eli Drake could be a, a tag team to go to the tag team titles. Maybe I don't know uh, what they're doing with that, but, uh, no, but if, if they don't, if they don't win. Then there might there might be a, a program between those two, you know, Eli Drake versus uh, Eddie Edwards instead. So we'll see. Okay. Well, WWE, that is what you call a World Cup. Uh-huh. You know, it's two companies, but still. And they've been doing this for a, a, quite a long time. Yeah, and unlike WWE, they're not going to have the general manager or the president of the company win the cup. A bunch of morons. Yes, you the best in the world. Shut up. Shane McMahon. Shaw, Cody been on this SJW shit, even though Sludge Daddy, <laughs> the Sludge the Daddy, um, is an idiot. When it comes to wrestling, Cody was a bitch to claim he was homophobic. The fuck? Uh, King, King Anthony, what's wrong with OTR Central? Shaw, LOL. Gotcha. Well, hopefully they, they don't, they don't, you know, cater to the SGWs once they I'm going to fuck you too. No. Um, uh, hope, That's what I say, W. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, they, they do some good shit. What the hell is this? Yeah. They got some drums, some dragons. Getting the justice you deserve. Yeah, let's just say uh, it's a special entrance. Let's just say that. Wow. You think they'll say that for next week's show called Uncaged? Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, but then again, I mean, they have a LAX and the Lucha Brothers, even though they could have done it next week. But mm-hmm. it's kind of, you know, a little off there. But. Yeah, I'm saying they're trying to make this a big deal. This, uh, this, this, may, this, this tag team uh, rematch uh, from, from Homecoming. But again, you got next week's show that they've been advertising and being called Uncaged. Hey, yeah, I could have saved, yeah, I could have saved it uh, you know, for, for, that, for, that, for that episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, but again, uh, it's cool. It's cool. They're doing this entrance for the literature butters. Do you think don't say it's gonna be a big deal? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for next week instead. Did you think Don't Breathe was a scary movie? I thought it was tense and suspenseful. I haven't seen it. Try soaking risk-free for 30 days. I haven't either. Call 1-800-528-7857. I didn't even, I didn't even know there was a movie called uh, Don't Breathe, to be honest with you. Yeah, you would think, you know, with the horror, the horror people in the asylum. <laughs> Yeah, Remington and uh, or Thomas probably not. Maybe Nick. <laughs> All right, here comes LAX. On my end, I'm watching it. Unfortunately, 
correct design create a visual signature that make fish strike hard. Its motion activated, time release sense stick leaves an irresistible scent trail that fish target and attack. Okay, Just go, insert go, go. the rattle and fish get pulled in from all directions, triggering fish to strike with a taste for the world that entitles. Wait, there's more. Now get the bite at night with our no. new for the tag team champions of the world. Are you serious? Yes, we are. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. You're in the storm, baby. Oh, my God. That could, that could end it um, very badly. Oh, the, oh, the fishes are in the store. Okay. I'm watching a fish commercial, but they're in the store. Okay. <laughs> Oh God! And that's what Pursuit Channel is all about, I guess. Yep, it's all about that lucha, lucha, lucha. Underground. Anyway. Oh my God! That was nice. Oh my last shirt is a little high. Okay. So call 1-800-291-6151. Again, that's 1-800-291-6151. Or visit buymightybike.com. Oh. That's buymightybike.com. Black and gold outfits put in the Lucha Brothers. I just not realized it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Phoenix. I am far behind Christian here. Hmm. What, the what the fuck? Okay, so I saw a post from Deluxe Man. Um, I thought it was a joke, mm -hmm. right? Or people made it, or people made it out to be a joke. But Shaveria puts in the comments, Taker's charging. Apparently, Taker's going to wrestle outside of WWE in the UK or some shit. That's Char true. Oh, oh, it is true. Okay. Charging 25. I, 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 I actually found out about that today. That about about Taker um, doing, doing um, shows outside of WWE. As young Taker. Taker's charging $25,000 per appearance. And get this, he's not being advertised to be at WrestleMania. Damn. What uh, was that tell you? Wow. Now, how interesting is that, by the way? He appears at Impact Wrestling, um, not not on the show, but um, no, no, but yeah, but, yeah, meet, meet him with you know behind the scenes with Eli Drake and and Taya. And now this whole thing with the UK uh, Undertaker's gonna be wrestling in the, you know, wrestling outside the comp uh, the company. I would I wouldn't be yep. surprised if Undertaker's getting tired of the title of this damn company. I I, I wouldn't be surprised. Even though I mean he's, he's still loyal, for sure. But he shouldn't be yeah. wrestling anymore, in in my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, what what a, what a present for the UK Taker fans. But think about it. So what, you know, a guy like Undertaker who always um been advertised for WrestleMania for years. Who's not who's not made, um to be advertised this year's WrestleMania. That's that's news to me right there. Like 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 um yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure yeah, they, they, they will come up with something for Undertaker for this year's this year's for me, which we, we don't want anyways. You know, for us that don't want to see him wrestle anymore because of um, the condition that he's in. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll, 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 we'll worry about the guy. Um, you know, because we all speculate it's going to be a rematch between him and Cena, uh, which we then we, we want to see anyways. Um, but who knows? What, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe down the line, maybe they will. Uh, advertising for WrestleMania, but as of right now, he's not advertising for WrestleMania at all. So we'll see uh, what happens with that. So yeah, but him, just doing uh, yeah. him doing some doing something outside WWE. Yeah, uh, you know, by all means, do 
uh, until it's, uh, it's allowed, it's, he's allowed to do that. Yeah, that's that's a hell of a consolation prize for the for the UK Taker fans. So could you imagine if that was the reason why? Because oh, yeah, Mark, you're gonna fight Cena again at WrestleMania. If Taker's probably like, hell no. <laughs> Are you facing that piece of shit again? I'm going to the UK. <laughs> just imagine if that was the reason why, though. <laughs> just to be real. I mean, yeah, Undertaker did say some nice things about Cena in his little interview, but... I, 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 wouldn't, blame, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, behind closed doors, the Taker, the Taker might feel some type of way about Cena. Mm-hmm. We all know Triple H does <laughs> for <Yeah>. years, <laughs> but it was more towards jealousy. Well, to a to well to an extent, jealousy. But uh, Shaveria Taker has a Twitter page. It feels weird. Yeah, we know about that. Yeah, and Instagram. First, first was Instagram, and then uh, a while uh, he's he's uh, had a Twitter account. Which, by the way, in, uh, on his Twitter account, no acknowledgement of, uh, of of his tweets of that involved WWE. That was funny. <laughs> I mean, of course, there could be photos of him from WWE, but other than that, no tweets about about him um, and WWE. You know, basically, with him tor- you know, t- tweeting about uh, you know anything about, um, that involves the three the three letters WWE. Well, who knows? Maybe Taker and Vince have a have a situation going on. Maybe they're having problems. Yeah, you would think after all these years, Taker could be loyal to the company, not going to WWE at the time, and, and staying um uh, with WWF uh, for that for that long, and then you know, and then becoming WWE, uh, and then with him being the American Badass, you know, being back as to being the the phenom, um, all these years. <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, Luchas. Oh, nasty. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Super kick. Yeah, that's Super crazy. Kick. Fun, fun facts for everybody in the, in the comments. Did you know the last WrestleMania Undertaker missed was WrestleMania 2000? And that was 19 years ago. <laughs> yes. Uh, Shaveria Triple H was jealous of Edge, RVD, and Jericho because they had long hair and, and was better. Well, um, he has long hair too, but uh, and was better than him. Yeah. Well, does long hair does long hair really matter? Yeah, I was gonna say like Triple H a longer too, but <laughs> yeah. It's like it's not. It's not I, like get, nobody... I get, I get, I get, I get what some, I get what some people mean by that though. It's like it's like nobody forced Triple H to cut his hair. I mean, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, sometimes the hair, the hair, the hair, the hair does does stand out in some way. I guess that's why we're all this man loves Roman Reigns so much. Oh damn! By the way, beating. You can download but yeah, I will say I, I prefer all three of them over Triple H for sure. Mm-hmm, exactly. Oh, nasty. And another one. <laughs> Dan, the Luchas are terrorizing the match. Um, wow. And the winner and the tag team champions. I'm not going to spoil it for you yet. Well, what a match! Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Time skip. Well, do you know who else Tri- Triple H was jealous of? He was jealous of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rock. Jealous, jealous of The Rock. I guess Mick Foley to an extent. Yeah. To an extent, Mick Foley. Yeah. Remember. I guess he also felt the same way about Shawn Michaels at one point. 
Yeah. Because, you know, the whole thing, the whole thing where people are always seeing that Shawn Michaels is better than Triple H, but, you know, facts. Yeah, he is better than Triple H ever was. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You still, you know what's sad? Shawn Michaels comes out of retirement after nine years and still better than Triple H. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And and during the promo that Undertaker had with Triple H, you know, for this uh for the WrestleMania match from the end of the era uh, type of way, you know, that, that build up basically. Where Undertaker even admitted in the promo about uh Shawn Michaels is better than you. And he, and he was like, he is. That 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 made me that made me uh that made me smile when he, so, the way he said, and also the way he said it too, he is. Like, wait a minute, you're supposed to be a dead man. Hey, and, and, and he kind of you know broke character in the way when he, when he did that, but he still but he still kept um his um his mystique all uh, after that too. But yeah, the, the, the funniest the funniest part of that segment though was when Shawn Michaels smirked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm better than you. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Even when Shawn Michaels' uh, back injury that he had, still better than Triple H. Damn, how's that, man? Undertaker, Kane, and Triple H have been wrestling for the longest time. And Shawn comes back after nine years Shut. and performs three of them. Phoenix almost shot that suicide dive. Are you almost to the last? Oh, yeah, you're, you're almost to the last part of the match. On my timeline, it's four minutes, it's four minutes until this show's over. And it's still going on. The match is still going on. Chavero, the only reason the two man power trip was a thing is because Austin was going to be the top heel. And he wanted some of, he wanted some of Austin's heat. Yeah, weren't they originally gonna have Stone Cold be the top heel going against babyface Triple H? I didn't charge my yep. left all the way left. Wait, that, that, that didn't I happen. Did. Holy shit. Oh. And just imagine that tri- babyface Triple H versus heel Stone Cold. <laughs> that wouldn't even look right. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. You know, especially with with that whole thing with Triple H, who ran over Stone Cold and all that stuff. Shaveria, yeah. Triple H is a smart, smart ass dude. Yeah, I mean, uh, I will say, you know, he he hasn't gotten to this part of his career, you know, without being smart, so. I'll give him that. Like three. Wow. The titles changed hands. Yes, it did. And Conan is shocked. Yeah, I saw I saw look at his face. <clears throat> You know, I'll say say sometimes the ma- the match that they have at the peer view ends up being on um, better uh, on the on the show on the uh, on the regular show. Well, this proved it. Mm-hmm. Eight out of ten for me. For this show. That's my overall rating. (laughs) 
Shaveria. He was friends with HBK, Nash, Mary Stephanie. So you know he always has Vince's ear. Well, except when it when it pertains to Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> the only power Triple H has is NXT, which is unfortunate, but. As far as Triple H's career, yeah, for sure. He's uh, been Vince's ear. Yeah, so uh, Robert, what were your overall thoughts on uh, the show tonight? Yeah, there was some good, there was some good wrestling shows here. Um, you know, wrestling on, on the show. Um, I guess I guess. Don't that I, I uh, that that uh, dear Tammy on the show was uh, dark dark alley. That's the only thing that um that that irritated me on the show. The rest of oh, uh, and Moose's shirt, which you know it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But other than that, uh, the show was pretty good. So I'm gonna go seven and a half out of ten. Seven out of ten. I just wish we could have got more Scarborough Doe than the, just so her, on, on camera and say, "Hey, I'm, I'm gonna wrestle next week. Stay tuned." Yeah, at least do a set. Let's do like a like a like a promo. Mm-hmm. You know what I noticed now? For the past couple of weeks, they haven't really had they haven't really had anybody go to the ring and cut a promo. It's been like it's been like backstage segments and interviews and all that. Yeah, not not since the last two weeks. Um, that Edric um, prom, uh, cut a promo to Eddie Edwards after his match. Uh, I'm assuming it was like two weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Robert. Uh, yeah, seven out of ten. Well. Yeah, that, that that that's a higher rating than you've been giving Impact for for the past couple of couple, past couple of weeks, months, maybe. Yep. Yeah, I, I guess it, it is. And I haven't got just to do my my review from last week, uh, yet. Uh, but I'll I'll get to it eventually. And then I got I got and then I got to do this one too. <laughs> but yeah, um, I showed the show from um, beginning to end, and I was I was pleased. All right. And for those of you who watched Impact in the comments, I hope, wow. you, I hope you enjoyed it too. All right. So do you have any final thoughts like, on anything? In the road. That's my fact I do. Becky Lynch. Wow. So it works for you. It doesn't work for me. Got it. I got some details here about Becky Lynch here. On your notebook? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, that's right. My notebook. Uh, the, me- get the, notes uh, the, the memories of uh, the last time you had your notebook on, on, on a video when you were uh, mm-hmm. you were doing your, uh, you know, impressions. But... The most, the most um, popular one that I did was um, about Roman Hall. Yeah, that's what that, yeah, that's what I was... Uh, about the whole, you know, the whole Ruby Riot thing. <laughs> hmm. Which, by the way, that- um, I'm reading, I'm reading something here about Ronda Rousey is going to defend her, her world title against Ruby Riot at the Mission Chamber. Cool. And easy money. she's not going to win anyways. Yeah, easy money. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm expect I'm expecting to see a good match um, for Ruby Riot to pull out all of Ronda Rousey. Hopefully she doesn't uh, do any sloppy uh, like she did with, um, with um, Sasha Banks from the Royal Rumble. Sure. Yeah, I was very disappointed for that match. That could have been a good, you know, in my in my part, you know, in my my way, uh, way of uh, you know for critiquing the match. I could have uh, put um, put that pass as one of um of the better matches that than um Oscar and Becky Lynch, but it wasn't because Ronda Rousey failed to do that. And, and that's how I seen it. Yeah, you know, from my my point of view, uh, mm-hmm. other people's point of view, they thought that Ron Rossi was good. 
and you know that's their opinion, and you know whatever. But anyways, <clears throat> Becky Lynch. So I was watch, I was watching uh, the WWE Chronicle that features Becky Lynch, and it started. From, it's, it's basically was about her from from that November all the way to, to December. You know the whole thing with um, with her being called you know for being called the man. The man Becky Lynch. It was her idea the entire time. <clears throat> That's why she, uh, from from um WA, from WA Evolution. That's why she shout out to a uh, sharp player in in the middle of that match, the last one standing match. I'm the man. And then from there she ran she ran with it, and WE allowed it. So basically, uh, can you blame WE for that too? Half you can, but most the most most likely you gotta blame Becky Lynch for the, uh, for that. Becky Lynch is the reason why. The man is is uh, is is um is being marketed for Becky Lynch. Well, I don't. Uh, first of all, thank you, Shaverio. Um, great stream. Thank you. Um, secondly, what what is with You know, with Daniel Bryan, Becky Lynch, like, what are they thinking when they come up with this stuff? I don't get it. Well, um, Lynch's part is working for the for the majority of the fans that are is buying into this whole demand thing. Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that that one I don't understand with Dan Bryan. Uh, he's not he's not selling any merch. Uh, what pertains to him being the new Dan Bryan? Okay. Yeah, the whole yes movement thing is dead. So, I mean, what's he gonna do? Um, sell him? Uh, you know, the, the WWE him championship belt, which I doubt people's gonna buy unless unless you're a vegan, and, and all about you're all about the planet and the, and the environment. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any Dan Bryan fans buying that belt. Uh, you know, for those that are not uh, that are not vegans, that you know, that's not uh, like a Dan Bryan, you know, what pertains to his lifestyle. Right. And uh, like I said, I, pu I pull over the belt because it, it does fit his character because he, you know, he's he's been uh, you know for for years, uh, you know, you, you get these vegans going crazy of uh, uh, going after Dan Bryan, saying that you know your tile belt's made of leather, you're not a real vegan. <laughs> That's when he was working. That's when he was working with Champion. Um, and he, and he was gonna do. He was gonna make a championship belt. Uh, you know, during that, you know, to you know, try to convince WWE for that one. Uh, and then uh, the whole thing with Sheamus, the 18 second uh win at WrestleMania. You know, for the opening one. Um, because mm -hmm. Dan Brown was planning, was planning on doing that after WrestleMania. You know, he was playing uh, as a heel and saying that he's the world's tough, toughest vegan and all that. And that's when um, the whole the whole outrage of these vegans coming out of the nick of the woods, you know, have to stop stop hugging trees and stop um, smoking <laughs> weed, and, and and you know start and stop um, other social justice warriors, um, you know, uh, uh, some other things they were doing, and then they want to focus on Dan Bryan, like you're 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 a fraud, you're a phony, your your title is made of leather, you're not a real vegan, and blah blah blah. But anyways, uh, but yeah, Dan Bryan. Uh, I like the heel thing he's doing, you know, because he, it, it, well, how he feels in real life. It, he's on, um, he's, he's, he's um, doing that. He's enchanting that as his character. Some people find it funny, and uh, some some people don't think it's funny. Some people just it, it's like a, uh, uh, and, you know, oh God, who are you to, who are you to, to tell us what what to eat or not to eat because you know, you know <laughs> to tell us uh, how to live our lives and all that, you know. Um, but it, but yeah, but that's that's basically that that whole thing with Daniel Bryan. Um. Now back back to Becky Lynch. Now the whole thing with the whole her the whole thing with her being the man thing. She did talk about some reasons why she's uh calling herself the man. Uh, for example, she was uh you know during um in, in the, you know when I, I was I was watching the W Chronicles that features Becky Lynch on the W Network. She she was doing some workouts that um that that a man would do. And then she brought up the back the fact about and basically she's uh, being interviewed on on the phone with someone. And about how she's gonna show Ronda Rousey uh, at WrestleMania, 
or some or some some way or somehow, you know, at, during that time because you know, she was she didn't she didn't get the opportunity yet because she was still women's champion at the time. Um, and she talked about you know, and she, and she explains about the whole thing with the man thing about breaking. She's she's she was saying to, she was saying she was saying that when she said that she's the man, she's not talking about uh you know gender. She's not talking about that. Um, she's not she's she's not saying that um that I'm a man. She's just saying that she's I'm the man, and saying that the man is. The top of the dog, like Ric Flair was, you know, where it pertains to to be the man, you gotta beat the man, and and she also gives an example of, uh, like uh, um, you know, like being the man, it's a it's about live uh, you believing in yourself, uh, and and for example, them um, well, uh, if if you uh, if you're uh, working at a, a mail room, you're you know, you're you're the you're the man, uh, for 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 running uh the mail room, or if you're or if you're a woman running a, a fortune, a fortune company, uh, no, no matter what, what type of no, what type of fortune companies uh, that that uh, that that, uh, that a woman is running, so the woman uh, is the man uh, of that. Uh, but but uh, in her case, you know, it, you know, uh, in, in one business, there could only be one man, and that's the man, the man, you know, the, you know, the whole the man thing, Becky Lynch. Now after I said all that. Well, yo, know, a base, a base. What Becky Lynch said on from the W Chronicles. Does, does that convince any, any, any people out there of why Becky Lynch, uh, you know, is backing up these claims of being called the man in, in, in um, in WWE right now? Uh, I think I get to an extent her mindset of who she wants to, who, who she in, inspires to be like, you know, cause she looks up to guys like Ric Flair and, you know, the past legends who, be, who were the man of the, you know, Ric Flair was the man, but, you know, 16 time champion, how successful he was in the business. But she lost me when she's like, oh, if you're a woman, you know, running this, that, and the other or whatever, you're, you're the man. I, she lost me on that part uh, because uh, you're the, woman in charge, but I get to an extent at the same time, there's many of other things you could call yourself, you know, as far as this whole, you know, basically being the number one person in the company. Cause I see what, cause so basically what she's saying is I want to be the, the, you know, the face of the, the face of the company. That's who I aspire to be. Is to be the fate to, to be the one, the number one person in the company. Which, you know, you know, we criticize her, you know, saying, Well, you're you're the man. What the fuck? How does that make any sense? But at the same time, I will agree with Shaveria in the comments, which you know, basically saying that she is over. You know, it's it's got it's gotten uh, you know. She's done well for herself as far as getting the crowd's interest, but uh, I mean, to an extent, I'm, ha- I'm happy for her. But uh, I don't know it, 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 this whole man thing. I I I don't mind her, you know, because I, I like Becky Lynch. You know, don't get me wrong. I, even though, even with this, damn it, even with this uh, man thing, you know, I, uh, you know, I support her to a, to an extent. But the man, uh, the, the man, uh, I, I just still like. Th- there's other ways to, you know, put it out there that you want to be the person of the company. But that that that's just me. So that that that's my you know basically my thoughts on that. And uh, the man. Um, I do get it. From your, from your standpoint, there's other ways to uh, so to, to call yourself, you know, 
while, while playing Soft the Man. And yeah, I get I get what she, what she was saying uh, when she said that on the Chronicles. But I still can't um, get behind that. I, I, I and I get what she was saying. You know, she's not talking about you know, um, uh, and she's not talking about gender. She's not talking about being a man. I can't, uh, I do get what she's saying there. Mm-hmm. I mean, if that's what she want to go with, that's for, um. I guess you know, I I go I go uh, I'll support her for that. I mean, I, I've always been supporting Becky Lynch. Uh, you know, even even when uh, when WWE was giving her these bad bookings over the years when she came to the main roster. Um, I still can't get behind the man thing for, for, for Becky Lynch. Especially mm-hmm. with, you know, we got this, we we got these commentators keep saying the man, the man, the man. Yeah. Now, you know, like I said, like I said already, you know, if this if this man thing goes farther, you know, it went with you know, um, you know, with the fans getting behind her, you know, things of that nature. Yeah, she, you know, she she can go she can go places, you know. Well, if the company will allow her to go places. But it will it, it, it will ruin to a certain degree her image. Well not her image, but like, you know her connection with the fans when he keep going over and over, the man this, the man that. You know, just, just like with Roman Reigns, the big dog, the big dog. It, it's the same situation. Except Becky Lynch is more is over. You know, she's she's more over than Roman Reigns ever was. But it's the same concept. And eventually. I have this feeling I could be wrong, but at some point, and as by at some point, there might be a point where people get tired of Becky Lynch, not because of her, but because of the man. You know, it's just, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it is. Um. So while 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 on Becky Lynch's uh, topic here, did you hear about what happened with Becky Lynch on Raw? No, because I don't watch. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, what, what what happened with? Uh... <laughs> well, oh. you don't have to watch it to know about it. But uh, but but uh, but if, you, if, you, if, if you know, but guess what? No one has to know about what happened with Becky Lynch on Raw. Stephanie McMahon returned on TV. And no one gives a flying fuck anyway. Well. Yeah, for for those for those who don't care about Stephanie McMahon, yes, I agree. But for those that uh that want to see what happened with uh Stephanie McMahon, will pertain to Becky Lynch, because Becky Lynch is uh you know she's acting like she's hurt, you know the knee injury and all that. Becky uh was was told by Stephanie McMahon, if you don't get uh you know you know see our doctors, you know to uh to make it clear you for WrestleMania against Ronda Rousey, then I'm gonna have to suspend you. And Becky Lynch was like, uh you, uh, you I want I want to do that power use not that. So Stephanie McMahon, you know, did what she did what was right, and she said, "You're suspended," and Becky Lynch attacked, attacked her. If I hit you. And then, um, yeah, Becky Lynch attacked her. Basically, you know, it's the uh, the female Austin versus Big Man. Oh I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm, 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 I'm not saying that's what people are saying, but I, I guarantee you that's what people are thinking about uh, when, when they saw when they saw this. I guarantee well, that's what people think about uh, when they, when they saw that. Well, considering you know people have it, people have making those comparisons, and it's just become even bigger now. You know, basically talk about, oh, Becky Lynch is the new female. She's the female Steve Austin. It's like people, let's not go there. Like let Becky Lynch be Becky Lynch. Let let her shine on her own before we start making comparisons. Because right now, as far as maybe as far as attitude. But she she doesn't have the attitude of Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, not not in that level. That's really the only comparison you can make. But on top on top of that, she's not as great of a wrestler as he was, as great of a talker as he was. You know, an ass kicker that he was. You know, but so let's let's not let's not go there yet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Big Lynch and Stone Cold Stone uh, Stephanie McMahon after she got suspended. So all she did was attack her, you know, by punching her and stopping her and all that. We get officials coming out to break it up. Uh, Stephanie McMahon kicked uh, Big Lynch to the lake, you know, and Corey Grace's um, words in self-defense. Whatever. 
but just imagine that like, like, that's what's gonna be next. You just gotta start <laughs> doing stone cold stunners on people next and shit. Mm-hmm. And that was all, uh, yeah, and that was and that was raw. Uh, for having with Becky Lynch, and then continue on with uh, what happened on SmackDown. Um, so for those who don't know what happened on SmackDown, Charlotte Flair opened up the show, people booed. She started uh, talking about Becky Lynch being suspended. Oh, 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 before I get to that part, um, oh, SmackDown also Ronda Rousey confronted Becky Lynch um, uh, after the whole thing that went down between Becky and Stephanie, and said to her, you know, Ronda Rousey said to, uh, to Becky that what you did to Stephanie McMahon was Unprofessional. You're the same. You're the same on the Rousey that attacked Stephanie McMahon after your match at WrestleMania, and and then when she came back, you attacked her. And then when she came back again, you try attack. You try attack her again. But Wait a minute. this is unprofessional. Wait a minute. She Ronda Rousey's defending. Well, not defending, but like saying I was I was wrong of Becky Lynch to do. Uh, that's what that's what basically what sounded like to me. But you're but you're a baby face. Why do you give a shit? And and you had issues with Stephanie McMahon since last year. Exactly. What the fuck? Why why do you give why do you give a shit now? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's and that, that's the one thing that happened on Raw too. Well, you know, ever since Ronda Rousey's uh, thoughts about that. Stupid. Okay. But uh but back to a SmackDown now. Charlotte Flair come out, like I said, talk about the whole thing was uh Stephen McMahon step you know, suspending Becky Lynch. And then she says about you know, Becky Lynch's uh I don't remember how, how she said it, you know, uh being ignorant, whatever, I'm like, whatever. And she says if you're if you if you're not one hundred percent clear, i I'll, I'll be one hundred percent clear to wrestle against Ronda Rousey. I'm like I'm like they better not do that shit. Whoa, Dude. <laughs> They better, no. they better, they better do that shit to Becky Lynch. I, some people are saying, yo, they're gonna ask Charlotte Flair into the match to, to, to try to make it a triple threat. I don't want to see that. Let Becky Lynch get her, get her turn against Ronda Rousey. They, they already, you already had Charlotte Flair got her turn, which it, it was uh, accidental. Uh, it was supposed to happen at the Fire Series because of uh, Nia Jax. Yeah, you already, you already got Charlotte Flair got her turn. You got Shasta Banks got who got her turn. Bailey Ray got her turn. Let let Be- Becky Lynch from the Four Horsewomen of of the WWE have her turn now. It was funny. King Anthony just no. just asked a question in the chat. Do y'all think Charlotte should be added to Ronda and Becky? Nope. No. Wrestling is weird, but she's over. I think Brian doesn't want merch like Champa did. Uh, Daniel Bryan, what the fuck are you doing, son? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Well, so when Charlotte Flair was saying that, all of a sudden Becky Lynch comes out from the from the crowd, <laughs> and and then you get this: Charlotte Flair said to Becky Lynch, first she's doing the catchphrase "the man for my father," and then she said, "Now you're stealing Roman Reigns' entrance." What? The she? It wasn't the Sandman. Yeah. Edge, Christian, mm-hmm. R Truth. No. Even the even the sh- they came out together as the shield too. Like like I, like they she she would she could have said, Oh now you're staying the shield's entrance. It's not Roman's entrance, it was the shield's entrance. That- Exactly. You could have said the shield entrance, but no. Roman Reigns ma- name mentioned. Like, what, what's she trying to do? Get a pop from that? Because, you know, fans don't, fans don't, hate, don't hate Roman Reigns now, you know, because of the whole leukemia thing. Wow. What the hell, dude? That was stupid. So, Big Lens comes out. She confronts uh, Sheriff there. You know, we got, we got security and officials to uh, just stop Becky, but she got in the ring anyways. And then... The game. Oh. Yep, you know where this is going. Two face gets in there. He's like, "You, you suspended." And and then Sharpfire is mocking um Becky Lynch. You know, limping and all that, uh, acting like a child. And then Two Face, by the way, Two Face gets a uh, pass for this one for, a little bit for me because he said, "Uh, she, he said to Charlotte, this is not your business. Get out.'" 
I like whoa. He he told he told yo this is man's um yo top woman in in, in WWE to, to get out. I like good. I love I love it, man. Get exactly. This had nothing to do with Charlotte Flair. It's not. It's none of our business. And let's keep it that way. And plus, Triple H is trying to be loved. <laughs> On top of that, but yep. he, did, he did. He did get some pops when he when he said that. So I'll I'll give Triple H that. He, he did. And then he goes to say, you know, you're you're uh, you're hurt. Go see a doctor. Uh, you, you, if you get cleared, you get the, your match at WrestleMania against uh, Ronda Rousey. Until then, go home. He goes to leave, and then Becky goes to um to say, "How's your wife? When? Is she medically clear?" I throw I punch her and all that, and the Triple H gets, mm-hmm. you know, gets back gets back in there. Yeah, uh, and then Triple H goes for his long ass promo that Jim Cornette has always talked about. You know, he's like, "Yo, know, the man uh, you call yourself, no," and then he's like. Um, he's, he's like he's talking about you scratch and claw and, uh, to finally get you up into the WrestleMania and, uh, against Ronda Rousey. Uh. <laughs> and he's like, uh, "Are you really hurt?" Uh, I like, I like, I like are, is, is speculation afraid. Uh, he's going real. He's he's going on and on and on. Like, like get to the point, Triple H. Like this is why I don't want to. I want to see cut promos. You always take too long these promos. And, I, and I'm still thinking myself. I, I thought like Jim Cornette kept saying that. Like. Really? Because uh, I, and then I, I'm like, I'm like looking back at his promos, you know, all these years. I'm like, that was, you know, like, yeah, that's, that's real icebreaker there, Jim Cornette. Like, wow, now I definitely know what he meant. Especially on um, his feud against Seth Rollins, where he kept going on and on, you know. I'm like, oh, like holy shit, get to the fucking point already. You know what's, you know what's, you know what's sad though. You know, for years, like you, like you, you just alluded to Jim Cornette saying, you know, Triple H was the guy next to the guy who was over. But now he's the guy next to the woman who's over. That is bad. <laughs> that is yep. really bad. Yeah, it's, no, yeah, it's nothing too. I want to point out too. Stephen McMahon uh, is, is uh, next to the hot act right now. Triple H, who's always known to be uh, next to the hot act. And that's and it's, and it's a woman who's calling up the man. And uh, uh, they, uh, people, stop. The the McMahon the McMahon's get off the TV, please. What's next? They're gonna have Vince McMahon uh, get involved with this. Shim, well, actually, Shim McMahon's not gonna get involved. He's 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 involved with the Miz. Hey, oh yeah, it's gonna be Vince McMahon versus AJ at WrestleMania. <laughs> Just imagine. And yeah, and then he says, "You feed her Ronda Rousey." Uh, and then, also, Becky Lynch stops Triple you H. Bam the shit out of ground. Triple H, uh, and Becky Lynch has a stare, a stare down, and Becky Lynch while leaves after that. I thought, I thought to myself, uh, the people thought to themselves, you know, Pedigree on Becky Lynch. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> to me, to me, I thought to myself, wait, is Triple H, what Triple H going to do here after um, Becky Lynch did that to to him? You know, since, oh, they, since, you? since they allow Ronda Rousey, I mean, not Ronda Rousey, uh, since they allow, um, you know, Dolph Ziggler, Super Kicking Nia Jax, Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh, giving the 619, and Randy Orton giving her a heart turn around KO, you know, basically, uh, males can touch women again, uh, I'm assuming. And on top of that, with, uh, 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 what, uh, what plan we got for the Emerson and Nia Jax? Uh, oh, wow, I got to talk about that part. Um, but yeah, but that's, but then, oh, uh, yeah, that's what Triple H, that's the whole thing happened with Triple H and, um, Making it on SmackDown, and that was it. Uh, four. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, Triple H, uh, he just stand there, and then Becky Lynch walked away, and that was it. Triple H, where's your balls, man? Isn't the, the person my wife? Uh... <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that was what happened with Becky Lynch. Uh, what what pertains to this whole thing? Because you know, of a of a. Fake injury, but let's get to um, whatever was the ambulance on on Raw. So first night, just came out to interrupt Alexa Bliss's uh, TV show, you know, which is doing they're still doing that by way, and 
basically, Isidri, and by the way, Isidri was the, um, the, 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 um, the guest on that show. I was supposed to pin on EC3. Um, so Nia Jax comes out, and she's like, like, uh, I'm Nia Jax, and uh, like, uh, I'm, I'm not like most girls, and I'm like, uh, I'm like most men that into the, room, the, the men's Royal Rumble, and like, uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, in the ch- chamber, so uh, with my, my, my fam, well, a family member, my Tamina, like, uh, to be, to be the WWE uh, Women's Tag Team Champions, like, you know, Nia Jax, I'm not, cause I'm like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm Nia Jax, and like, I'm not like most girls, like, that's, what, actually, that's how she talks. Like she's talking like she like she she's not she's not uh even Timothy. Uh, okay. She, she's talking like she's a diva or something. Oh I, oh I'm not like most girls. I entered the men's rumble. So did China motherfucker. Anyway. Yeah, so then the Amos comes out. Uh and then and then I just like um, how dare you interrupt me interrupting like uh like, oh my gosh, she's fucking garbage. What? <laughs> she said that. She said that. She's like, uh, how dare you interrupt me? But um, uh, while while I'm interrupting. So basically, she pulled the Owen Hart promo with her. I'm gonna keep yeah, your but, leg up. <laughs> but but anyway. you know, with no charisma though. Well, that's, it's that's Owen true. Hart. It, yeah, this Owen Hart. He had he had charisma. That's true. But. So Dean Ambrose said to uh, Nia Jax, in, in his word, that Nia Jax has a crush on him. <sighs> because the whole thing Nia Jax attacking Dean Ambrose uh, last week on Raw, it's why, it's why um, Nia Jax attacked him, because he, he, she has a crush on him. Dean, leave the company already. <laughs> just, just leave. And, you want, and, and, and the WWE is wondering why Dean Ambrose is leaving. After as his contract is up, at the WrestleMania, because of all pokey shit like this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I, I attacked you because I have a crush on you. Yeah, that makes total fucking sense. You know, you think you think with each to, uh, to, to at least try to convince Dean Ambrose to, to stay to resign, but not having do any hokey shit. And then look at look what they did with um, this past week, Monday on Raw, having doing hokey shit with Nia Jax. Hmm, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. So basically, he said to her, "Yo, stay away from me," and all that. I, obviously, that's not gonna happen. Since they um haven't said that yet, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> stay away from me. And, <laughs> and then, and then it got worse. He says to EC3, because yo know, EC3 had since EC3 came to me roster, he's he has he has not said not one word. That's so stupid. Wow. So he he says to EC3. What does EC3, he, he says, what does EC3 stands for? Uh, did you watch TNA? <laughs> because, no, because, no, because we never seen TNA before when he was in, in TNA. Exactly. Wow. So then yeah. he said, uh, and, and where is EC1 and EC2? Uh, 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 Two. Funny. Hashtag, hashtag, hokey shit. Again, this is why the Ambrose is leaving. Mm-hmm. So what does EC3, EC3 does? He gets a microphone, and instead of talking, he, he hits the Ambrose, and they have a match. And EC3 beat the Ambrose in seconds. Well, not seconds, you know, in a couple of minutes. Wow. Yeah, just and, and keep in mind, this is the Ambrose, former WWE champion and the current champion, United States champion, tag team champion, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the greatest faction in, in WWE's mind, the Shield. And he loses in in in, in, in a couple of minutes uh, to EC3. Not 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 that they're only losing to EC3, but yeah, he just got. You don't do that. I, mean, you know, I, I, I expected, you know, to get yeah. his win. And that's what's going on with EC. Well, you know, uh, and that's what happened with EC. You know, uh, you know, EC3. Uh, he won. He won his debut. His debut uh, main roster match. And he and he hasn't even said one word ever since coming to main roster. Not one word. Damn. 
Dude, I'm not I'm not I'm not the biggest EC three fan, but I'll give him he's he's a good talker. Mm-hmm. You know? And, and, and I wanna see how I wanna see how good he, I wanna see how good of a talker he is while Robert do scripted promos. Oh my god, like these people don't do their homework, like, for real. Yeah, we'll see. Really... We'll see what happens with EC3. Yeah. And then let's get to Kurt Angle. Oh, Heard yeah. the announcement about him. What's his future holds? Uh, he was gonna make an announcement on Raw. Mm-hmm. He well, he talks about it. He was, he want, he was, he he gets he get a chance to say it because uh, Baron Corbin interrupt. Of course. So yeah, for people that tune in for Kurt, uh, to see what Kurt was gonna say, I feel sorry for you because it, it, didn't, it didn't lead to anything other than what him having a match, that, um, which it was a main event match by the way between uh, Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre versus Kurt Angle and the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman. And it ended by disqualification because Braun Strowman, who's not a legal man, attacked Baron Corbin, who was legal in the, in the ring. Um, I see New Japan. I see New Japan pro wrestling on tag team matches a lot because they do they do a lot of tag team matches too. And we see a lot of uh, wrestlers that are not legal in the match attack a, a wrestler that is legal in the match numerous of times. And they don't get disqualified. Why isn't that in WWE that uh, someone who's not legal in the match and be a, be a the guy who is legal in the match gets disqualified? And the way they did it too, it was so fucking stupid. Like, if you're a type, don't you, you, you can't touch me. You you get disqualified and all that blah blah blah. Like, uh, WWE has been doing. People wonder why we stop watching this shit. Well, most of us. And that, and and, that, and for record, people again, I don't watch the show entirely. I just watch the the highlights of it. But I, after seeing the highlights, like like what the fuck, man? Well, that was so fucking stupid. And that was the main event. <sighs> oh, well. But yeah, so yeah, Corbin and McIntyre won by disqualification because Braun Strowman broke the rules. Yay! Garbage. We just watched. We just finished watching the tag team match, the main event tag team match of Lucha Brothers versus LEX. We see a lot. We see a lot of uh, you know guys. You see a couple of uh, you know uh, you know not legal uh, men in the match attacking on the one that that is legal. The referee disqualified them. No, match to continue. So stupid. Uh, man, people wonder why we watch other wrestling. Why we why we prefer this over WWE? People wonder. People still wonder. Mm-hmm. It should be even though it should be plainly obvious, but. Yep. Exactly. Or you would think it would be obvious, but. Yeah. Uh, who do you all think is going to win between Tanahashi and Jay White? For the belts. Uh, oh my god. That's going to be a tough one. Because you know, Jay White had to get in the better of uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. And when we're going to Hiroshi Tanahashi team up with uh, Kasuska Okada. I'm like, man, he's on, he's on, this guy's on fire, Jay White. You know, switchblade Jay White. Um, I would say he, he's, he's going to win it, but I, I highly doubt that. But you never know. They might, they might pull, they might, they might pull Swerve here for JY to win the, the the IWGP Championship. Now, is he ready for that? Is he ready for that? To me, in my opinion, I think he is, because they're they're really, they're really pushing this, you know, pushing JY to be on um, this this next this next top guy, uh, in New, J- New Japan to take over, um, you know, you know, someone like Kenny Omega who's not there anymore. So, if that's what if that if they, if they go with JY, I'm more for it. He's 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 young, fresh. He's um he's hungry. He's a uh he's a member of a bullet club. I think and I think he's the leader of the faction. Um, just based on how he's um he's um, how, uh, based on his momentum of of of, of as a late. 
Um, Jay White, man, he's he's getting a job, job, the job done in, in professional wrestling, and he's he's working for New Japan. And I guarantee you, if he's in WWE, he will be uh, on the low card. I guarantee him to you. So it's hard it's hard to say. Um, to say uh, who's going to win between uh, Tanahashi and, and Jay White. But I'm I'm going for Jay White though to see to see if 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 it, you know if if, 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 New, if New Japan is serious to go uh, all the way with him. So I'm I'm gonna go with him. But if he doesn't win, it, I'm I'm still I'm I'm still gonna watch the match though to see how great the match is gonna be. It's gonna be a great match. These guys um they they're well actually that first the first match I was just, I, I'm not gonna say it was a bad match. It was just a um. It was just a solid match where it could have been it could have been better between those two when 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 they first wrestled each other last year in Wrestle Kingdom. Um, but they but they they ended up making making up uh yeah the year you know uh, as the year went went by during that time for last year basically. Um, and it's not and I guarantee you it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a match that uh people is gonna look forward to if you know if they do you know for those who um who are subscribed to the Japan World to watch to watch it this coming um Saturday I think it's um it is February eleventh basically. But you watch for probably people have to stay up, uh, stay up, have to stay up in the middle, uh, you know, uh, late at night to all uh, watch it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's my thoughts about it, though. J, J- watch should win. Yeah. Same. Uh, uh, she's the female Roman Reigns, so it makes sense. Uh, I gotta disagree with you there. What? I gotta disagree with you. Or, or. Oh, oh wait, no, you're talking about Charlotte. Okay, no, okay, I thought you. Oh, okay, okay. Like, wait, wait, who? who? Oh, yeah, yeah. You got one there. Was, she's, she's was, the, was, she's the, um, she's the Reigns and Cena. I was thinking of Becky Lynch at first, but I'm like, oh, wait, she can't be, can't be talking about Becky Lynch. I'm like, it's Charlotte. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Because you, because they said, uh, and of course, a possibility about Charlotte being in the match with Ronda and Becky. Well, according to Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch is on um, Derek Flair and Roman Reigns because of the, the catch race and the entrance. Wow. It's like, Charlotte, you want to talk about Roman Reigns' comparisons. You're, you're good, the last words you're talking about. But anyway, mm-hmm. um, not as far as characters, but as far as booking. Uh, King Anthony, I bet my PS4, Charlotte's going to stand tall as the last survivor in the Horsewomen feud as Survivor Series this year, since Becky would have had her WrestleMania moment if it happens. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, so like, yeah, that's it for the comments. I won't be here. Uh, anything else or what's up? Um, and I, I guess I guess there's nothing else to uh, talk about here. Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's basically it. Oh, okay. uh, then you know, can we? I can't wait to see uh, Scarborough though. Finally. Wrestle on uh, Impact Wrestling. But the question is, who she's going to face? Mm-hmm. That's what. That's what. That's my big concern there. You want to do the twenty-four hour thing? She probably uh, either Eddie's wife or Katarina. <laughs> oh God. Or oh, Rebel. Hey. Rebel, oh, yeah, I did. I did. That'd be, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, and they, and they have before too. By the way, uh, also have Impact Wrestling, Re- Rebel and Scarborough, Doe, which was by the way, uh, it's worth watching if you want to see some nice ass. From, you know, from from those two. <laughs> uh, but also, I also was gonna say, Elias versus Jeff Jarrett. It, ha- it happened. Uh, okay. But before that happened, they did they did the um the thing again. You know the catchphrases, and then the singing. The singing. I can't wait to be with my baby tonight. Something like that. 
They, yeah, they did it again. Like, what the fuck? Like, is that the best you can, you can come up with? Uh-huh. And then Elias, he said to, um, yo, well, which is that performance, he said he would rather watch Mortal 5 than, than that. And, <laughs> and from there, I'm like, wow. And yes, I know. And from that, i like, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I would rather watch Mortal 5, you know, because, you know, they make, you know, WWE is, is, is trying to make fun of the halftime show, you know. For something that's you know that you know to a band that that is relevant, more than uh more relevant than the WWE is right now, and more relevant than than than, than um the garbage piece of ass um you know piece of ass trap tra- uh like like in Jeff Jarrett, <laughs> Double J you know uh who can't do a fucking dime. Right. Yeah, I will. I will rather watch uh, Maroon Five than to watch uh, Jeff Jarrett singing. I can't wait to be alone with my baby tonight. Again. <laughs> You know, for someone who actually sing in Maroon 5, Alan Levine. Uh, by the way, I don't get the hate. I really don't. I mean, they're not my favorite band, but still. Mm-hmm. I don't get this big hate <laughs> towards them. And then, you know, then you got... um. Oh, that's okay. Um, and then you got Rodo doing his whole thing. If you're down, if you're not done with that, I got two words for you. Suck it. And in my mind, I'm, I'm thinking to myself again to uh, to do a uh, road dog. Fuck you. That's my two words to uh, to a uh, road dog. Oh, but he's from the New Age Outlaws. He's from the X. Fuck road dog. You know this whole winning losses don't matter and and on um, you know blocking fans off for having uh, uh you know uh, uh, uh you know uh an opinion about. About some, some something they're doing on in, on daily television, stupid, uh, and then um, him um, right on the worst show on SmackDown from 2017, having um, um, Mahal being champion, and you know most of his but uh, is, is is Vince too, but I blame uh, but also the full band also goes to Raw Dog. So fuck Raw Dog. Yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> But yeah, but Elias and, and Jeff Jarrett had a match, and Elias won. And then Rodol beats him up after that. <laughs> and then Jeff Jarrett got the guitar, his guitar, yo, know, Jeff Jarrett's guitar. He's Elias with the back of it, except one problem. It didn't, it didn't explode. You know, it didn't um, completely, you know, it, it didn't break into pieces. Uh, so- so now they're being PC about guitar shots. You know what? We're just the- her. Um, yeah, we're just having props for a guitar. You could you could hit them in the head with it, but when someone like Jeff Jarrett has a, a guitar like that, and it, yeah, like what happened with um, Hockey Talk Man to uh, Drake the Snake Roberts back in the eighties. You know, obviously that was not, that was a real guitar there that that uh, Hunky Tonk Man hit Jake Roberts for um you know, for real with it, you know, which mm-hmm. which uh it caused um some brain damage uh at one point to Jake Roberts, or or, or some, some some type of concussion whatever, uh I can't remember what, what it was but, but they couldn't do they couldn't do one for Jeff Jarrett of of of, of to give him a prop guitar, just, just think you know uh, at this point I. I, you know, all good things. All I can say, thank God that um that that they don't do any headshots in WWE anymore, because Elias will will really um been on the injury list there, uh huh. for WWE. But there, but there you go. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much what we got to say for now. Uh man, once again, dude. Uh, what's what? What's up with the asylum, man? Oh my god, yeah, no, I, I, I like where, where the fuck are they? <laughs> like how how long are we, we're gonna go weeks before you know weeks without you know? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. I mean, some are probably busy. I think I think I, mean, I think a couple, a couple of them are slacking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But you know, we'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much what we gotta say about everything. Yep. 
And Flanders yeah, I don't is boring. Know. The fuck? Um, <laughs> as far as my next videos, uh, may, there might be a top five tro uh, troll comments. There, there, there might be a Spider-Man gameplay video. We'll see. But um, that's pretty much what I say about it. Thank you guys for watching. This place is boring. And we're out. Peace.